सकल के आबो आमंत्रण क्रिमिनल जस्टिस प्रोग्राम देखार जो हमें आजाम एंड कोलिस्टर्स प्रिंसिपाल सलिस्टर शाफिउल आजम एमारे आर कलिग बारिस्टर लीन ठाउन लीन जी सात जन के आपनर रदाराम चाइल्ड एब्यूज केसर जो प्रिजन सेंटेंस दिए आंडार एज मे के रेप सेक्चुअल एसल्टर जो साइतरिश बचर एक जन के ताके देवा हुए चिलो 23 इयर्स फॉर रेप एवं वन काउंट ऑफ यू नो द रेप वन काउंट ऑफ एडिंग एंड एबेटिंग रेप एवं थ्री काउंट ऑफ इंडिसेंट एसोल्ट वन काउंट ऑफ प्रोक्यूरिंग अ गर्ल अंडर 21 हैव अनलॉफुल टू हैव अनलॉफुल सेक्सुअल इंटरकोर्स विद एनोदर एंड वन काउंट ऑफ सेक्सुअल एसोल्ट एवं ताके द थार्डे जे फाउंड गिल्टी फॉर टू काउंट्स ऑफ रेप एंड टू काउंट्स ऑफ इंडिसेंट एसोल्ट ताके अपना प्रिजन सेंटेंस दिए चिलो बीस बच्चों रेड जन्ना अरेक जॉन फोर्थ व्यक्ति जे फाउंड गिल्टी टू काउंट्स ऑफ रेप टू काउंट्स ऑफ इंडिसेंट एसोल्ट एंड वन काउंट ऑफ फॉल्स इंप्रिजनमेंट ताके दावो हुए चिलो चौदह बच्चरे प्रिजन सेंटेंस, शोभाएँ के लंबा लंबा प्रिजन सेंटेंस दिए थे। तारे एक जन फाउंड गिल्टी फॉर वन काउंट ऑफ रेप एवं ताके सेंटेंस दिए चिलो अपना फिफ्टीन इयर्स से जन्नो। आरे एक जन अपना टू काउंट्स ऑफ इंडिसेंट एसोल्ट and take dewa hoye chilo take rape er jonno dena indecent assault er jonno take dewa hoye chilo 10 years of imprisonment shobai ke between uh, mani up to 23 years porjonto maximum uh, ek ek jon ke apnar punishment apnar court diyeche शन से बोल कि जर के शि दे आज के तरा स्वीकार कर मान स्वीकार कर गरीब असहाय दुरबल आंडारेज मेरे के तर निजे सैटिस्फैक्शन जो लीन दैशनल क्राइम एजेंसि हु स्टार्टेड दिस हिज अपारेशन स्टव उड एंड दैट The men who have been sentenced today preyed on vulnerable young girls for their own satisfaction. What's your remarks and opinions, please? Well, as we've we've heard, um, the 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 uh, perpetrators here targeted particularly vulnerable young girls. Um, Taking everything else aside about the girls' characteristics, they were all between 13 and 16 um, when they were actually um, abused by these men. So, taking it on age alone, they were very young, um, and and the abuse um, they were targeted for the abuse because of their age and their vulnerability, because the men felt that no one was going to believe them. And uh, also, they felt that they could um, 
also bully and intimidate the girls not to go to the police in the first place, or if they did go to the police, they could stop them um, eventually uh, going to court. And also they felt um, in themselves, they were arrogant and that they felt that they would be believed because they were all, as they saw, they were all family men. They had, they had families, they had children. They ran businesses or they worked in businesses and they were part of a, a you know, a stable um, and respected community, whereas the girls in question um, didn't have any of that. So they 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 felt that if it came to it, that, that the girls simply wouldn't be believed. And they didn't think, in my opinion, I think that they didn't think it would ever reach court. Um, and and this, this was part of the reason why the particular girls in question were selected to be abused. So it was a cynical ploy by, by those involved and it was also um, highly, um, highly planned and thought out. And um, they, they targeted particular types of individual girls who, who didn't have family um, who looked out for them. So, um, and it was arrogance as well because mm. They felt that even if it was reported that, that they were going to be believed over the girls. Tell me something. The, these girls were under the age of 16, between 13 and 16. Yes. So if you can tell for the viewers, is that age a age of consent of sex? Um, no, uh, uh, it isn't, certainly not 13, 14 and 15. Um, but uh, the, the, the charges here that were pursued um, were, were rape and sexual assaults because they carry, uh, they carry higher sentences and uh, there, there was no need to charge with, with anything to do with um, the, the non-consensual sex um, in these cases because there were much more serious offences that had had been um, committed but obviously the ages and being under under um, the age of consent um, aggravated or were an aggravating feature in the mu much more serious uh, sexual offences because it's it's practice that even if it if it's someone who's under age um, and uh, there's a serious uh, sexual offence has been committed that that will be charged um, rather than anything to do with non-consensual sex and um, uh, the, the the most serious offense will be charged um, and pursued and then the age will be an aggravating factor for sentencing um, but but because the serious offense is pursued it means that a much longer sentence um, is open um, to the judge at the time and generally anything to do with with the, the non-consexual element or the, 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 the age of the individual will be taken into account um, at sentence and will be part of the facts that are opened and can be opened um, to do with the more serious offence as well. It's just, it's just it's, it, is, it is still taken to, into account and it is part of the prosecution case but it, it it uh, it isn't charged as well because the facts are encompassed within the more serious offence. Yeah. Prosecution, the National Crime Agency, or Bolsheki, they used violence and intimidation and believed that we are untouchable by law enforcement. Amon Babe Hingstrota Tara use Kure Chilo among violence, among Tara intimidation, J Boy de Haya Chilo e Megulake, and Tara Mone Kure Chiloki, J they are untouchable by law enforcement. So I want to read this sentence to you, uh, Lynn. The Paul Williamson of the National Crime Agency, he said that. They believed that we are untouchable by law enforcement. Yes. What's the remarks and or uh, opinion? Well, the the reason why they thought they were untouchable, um, it, it's essentially what I said earlier. They were arrogant 
in that they felt because they themselves um, had a, a nightward a veneer of uh, respectability themselves, or at least that was the side that they wanted to show to the world, that they were family men, they had wives at home, they had children, um, you know, they were fathers, they had businesses or they were employed and they were, were from um, a respected um, community um, and had supportive, a supportive family structure behind them. And, uh, you know, the community that they came from um, was respected and they were respected within the community as, uh, as family men. Whereas in the case of their victims, the victims could lay claim to none of that. They weren't respected within society. You know, we may question why and why we respect people, but they weren't. Um, they they were um, they were considered um, to uh, essentially to be uh, often unemployable members of society. They came from um, from often from broken homes, from very difficult home backgrounds. They had uh, the low educational achievement and um, they had very little, if any, um, prospects of employment whenever they got to that age. And um, also because of their, their backgrounds, they were known to social services and uh, many of them had, had been um, in and out um, of uh, of uh, well the knowledge certainly um, and and care and intervention of social services throughout the, the time that they were growing up. So the the individuals concerned here, the perpetrators, were clearly of the view that if if things were reported, and I think that they they felt that the, that the girls were never going to report it, or that no one was ever going to believe the girls. Um, if they did report and they would that they would hear nothing more of it and that's why they targeted these particular girls I think they felt it was never going to be reported and even if it was reported they were secure in the knowledge uh, they felt that that the girls wouldn't be believed and uh, then whenever the girls um, it appeared that that the cases were being taken forward then uh, there was evidence of at least one occasion where one of the girls um, had spoken to one of the perpetrators on the telephone and um, he was um, heard on the recording essentially trying to uh, intimidate her um, not, to, um, not to speak to the police any further. And I, I think that when they went into court, and I think this was, was noticed by all counsel in court and by the judge, that there was an air of arrogance, whether that was was real or whether it was um, it was put on um, so that so that they looked good in front of their friends, or whether 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 they knew deep down that um, they were in a problem. They certainly didn't um, betray any feelings like that. There was a level and an air of arrogance in court that they were not going to be convicted. So I think that they felt that even though things had gotten that far that uh, the girls would simply not be believed and that their evidence taken against the girls, that the jury were going to believe them because, of course, as they portrayed it, they were respectable and upstanding members of their established community and also family men and businessmen uh, and take that um, against um, a number of, of, at this stage, young women who had had chaotic lives growing up and um, were were deemed um, as unemployable um, and certainly, you know, had no qualifications um, from school and had backgrounds um, uh, that were were basically blighted by, you know, extreme poverty. So, so they, they the perpetrators were within court were very arrogant, betrayed mm. an arrogant um, demeanour, uh, thinking that if it was a, a toss up between who the jury were going to believe that the jury were going to believe them yeah okay we'll come back to another in the comment for you but the shock arrogant word je amar colleague lin townley bolchilo koy ekbar kore eta shobai ke shoron rakhte hobe ei desher moddhe apnake politely nijeke present korte hobe 
কোর্টে অ্যাটেন্ড করতে হইলে ক্রাউন কোর্টের ট্রায়াল যেখানে জুরি ট্রায়াল হয় যেখানে বারো জন মানুষ আপনাকে আপাদমস্তক আপনাকে পর্যবেক্ষণ করবে আপনার পারফরমেন্স দেখবে আপনার কথাবার্তাগুলো শুনবে সেখানে আপনার অ্যারোগ্যান্ট হলে চলবে না সেখানে আপনাকে পোলাইট হতে হবে আমি সব সময় ভেরি গুড অ্যামাউন্ট অফ টাইম আই স্প্যান্ড উইথ মাই ক্লায়েন্টস এক্সপ্লেনিং হাউ দে শুড পারফর্ম ডিউরিং দ্য ট্রায়াল তাদের ড্রেস স্মার্টলি আই অলওয়েজ টেল এভরিবডি ড্রেস স্মার্টলি নাইসলি পোলাইটলি স্পিকিং টকিং অ্যান্ড অলসো মানে আই কন্ট্যাক্ট যে কোর্টের দিকে দেখে জুরির দিকে দেখে সুন্দরভাবে কথা বলা এগুলো কিন্তু এ দেশের একটা আমাদের কালচার যে আমাদেরকে এই জিনিসগুলো মেনে চলতে হবে নো ম্যাটার আপনাকে মানে ওপিনিয়ন দিলে হবে না আপনি আপনার বক্তব্যগুলো গুছাইয়া আস্তে আস্তে স্লোলি বলতে হবে যদি বাংলায় যদি বলতে হয় ইন্টারপ্রেটারের মাধ্যমে তাইলে তো এটা আরও ইম্পর্টেন্ট যে খুব স্লোলি সংক্ষিপ্ত সংক্ষিপ্ত সেন্টেন্সে আপনার বক্তব্যগুলো রাখবেন তার কান্ডরে তখন যে ইন্টারপ্রেটিং করবে সে সুযোগ থাকবে ওইটাকে কোর্টের কাছে জুরির কাছে জাজের কাছে বাংলায় অনুবাদ করে দেওয়া সুতরাং খুবই ইম্পর্টেন্ট যে অ্যারোগ্যান্ট হলে চলবে না আপনাকে পোলাইট হইতে হবে আপনার কেসকে প্রপারলি প্রেজেন্ট করতে হবে আপনার ডিফেন্সকে ভদ্রভাবে আপনার বক্তব্যগুলো আপনাকে রাখতে হবে এই কেসের মধ্যে যে প্রসিকিউটার ছিল যে প্রসিকিউটার সে বলছিল কি সে বলছিল নান অফ দ্যাম হ্যাড দ্য ম্যাচিউরিটি টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্যাট দ্য উই আর বিং গ্রুমড অ্যান্ড এক্সপ্লয়েড যে ওদের কোনো ম্যাচিউরিটি ছিল না ওদের কোনো বয়স ছিল না যে বুঝার জন্য যে তাদেরকে শোষণ করা হচ্ছিল তাদেরকে ব্যবহার করা হচ্ছিল তাদেরকে বয়ফ্রেন্ড গার্লফ্রেন্ডের মতো মানে দেখাইয়া তাদের উপর হিংস্র নেচারের মানে ব্যবহারগুলো তাদের উপর করতেছিল এবং তারা এগুলো বুঝারও তাদের কোনো বয়স ছিল না অফটেন বিলিভিং দ্যাট সেক্স অফ সাম কাইন্ড ওয়াজ এ নেসেসারি প্রাইস ফর ফ্রেন্ডশিপ তারা মনে করত কি ঠিক আছে একটা ফ্রেন্ডশিপ আছে এইটা ফ্রেন্ডশিপের প্রাইস হিসাবে আমরা আমি সেক্স করলাম কিন্তু তাদের তো সেক্স করার বয়স তো ছিল না তারা বুঝার কোনো বয়স ছিল না যে তাদেরকে গ্রুমিং করা হচ্ছিল তাদেরকে শোষণ করা হচ্ছিল ভেরি সিরিয়াস ইউ সি এ লিন আই উড আস্ক ইউর কমেন্ট অর এ অপিনিয়ন অন দিস সেন্টেন্স দ্য প্রসিকিউটার সাইড that none of them had the maturity to understand that they were being groomed and exploited, often believing that sex of some kind was a necessary price for friendship. Yes, because they they came, as I said, from um, a lot of them from difficult family backgrounds um, where they 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 didn't necessarily um, have the care. There were, there were certainly um, levels of difficulty within their family histories and, and some um, were certainly uh, neglected um, and, and didn't have um, a strong um, support mechanism within their families growing up. So w- what is, is, is very common in abusive types of situations where individuals come from difficult um, childhood backgrounds like this, it's widely um, it, it, it's widely known and in studies that they are more vulnerable um, to being um, being brought into abusive relationships um, as uh, as adults or as young adults or even even as children, because the opportunity is there because they're neglected and they don't have. Um, they don't have an adult to look out for themselves and uh, and and also um individuals are particularly vulnerable if they haven't had um a strong um family basis um and and felt um felt secure within a family structure it makes them more vulnerable to predatory behavior and this is exactly what happened here the perpetrators knew that the individuals were vulnerable. They um, they offered them and they were cynical and they were cynical in their manipulation because they were offering them love, they were offering them friendship, at least on, on the surface. 
um i mean two levels it was it was a friendship it was attention they were giving them food um and again that was very relevant here because um a lot of the individuals were living in extreme poverty so actually food um could be a major part of the allure that someone could actually present for them um that, that, that they were getting um you know meals for free that they couldn't afford um on their own and uh, also um under the guise as well a lot of the individuals pretended um that they wanted relationships with the girls and and built up the picture that they were interested in having a, a monogamous relationship with the girls a proper relationship proper boyfriend girlfriend relationship and um that that uh, lured a number of the, the the girls obviously to trust and then they were too deep into into that uh, misbelief by the time it became obvious that that actually that wasn't um what was going on then at this stage um the, the girls had become too too it too ingrained and involved with the, the men in question that they um they didn't feel that they could could get away from them and they just stayed and were abused further and were passed around then the 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 perpetrators um associates and friends and this then became a normalized behavior for the girls and that was what they actually felt relationships were they had nothing to compare it with they hadn't been in love in relationships before so the, the would have been a, a real issue here for uh, prosecutors and the police um in actually um being able to convince the girls that this wasn't actually normal behavior that they had been victimized and that, that this was very wrong because this had become a normalized type of behavior for the girls because that was all that they knew because they had never never been in in any other relationships that were not abusive to compare it with and to see that it was actually very wrong and that was indeed part of the reason why these individuals had targeted the girls because they knew that that, that they could then manipulate them and um that, that the girls um were um not in a position or unlikely to object and they were desperate a lot of them just for any attention any love any attention and this also played into the perpetrator's hands and gave them the opportunity to commit the abuse in the first place and then um over a long period of time um essentially undisturbed in what they were doing yeah yeah thank you very much i think we are about to finish the program today we are running out of time doshok aaj amader shomoy pray shesh hoye geche আজকের প্রোগ্রামটি আবার পুনঃপ্রচার করা হবে অর্থাৎ রিপিট দেখানো হবে টুইসডে আগামী মঙ্গলবার দিন ঠিক একই সময় দুপুর সাড়ে বারোটার থেকে দুটা তাছাড়া আজ এন টিভি ইউরোপের ফেসবুক এবং ইউটিউবে লগ ইন করলেও আপনারা আজকের প্রোগ্রামটি দেখতে পারবেন আর শফিউল আজম সেলিস্টার শফিউল আজম অথবা আজাম এন্ড কো সেলিস্টার্সে লগ ইন করলে গুগল সার্চ করলে আপনারা এই প্রোগ্রামের লিঙ্ক পাবেন সবাই ভালো থাকুন সুস্থ থাকুন এবং সকলের প্রতি আমার শুভকামনা থাকলো আসসালামু আলাইকুম